guys, it's Stinky from Love of Dirt. Um, today I'm going to give you a tour of our aquaponics system. Full disclaimer, this is not my project, this is my husband's project. Um, I just put the plants in and they grow. So we've had an aquaponics system now for about, oh, I want to say eight years. Um, and we started with a very simple system, which was an IBC with the, the um, top cut off and flipped. So it's, I think it's a chop and flip. I think that's what they're called. Um, we had jade perch swimming in underneath and we had a garden above, um, which is really good for leafy greens and things like that. Um, we then upgraded and we got a system that was basically, I called it the double banger, which was two grow beds on top of the one tank with the jade perch growing in. And yes, we eat these fish. They get, actually, they get quite big. Um, since then, um, we've now sort of living, we, we had those systems when we were renting. They were a lot easier to move than garden beds. Um, still a pain, but a lot easier to move. Um, you could just basically, the plants, you could pull them out for a minute and then put them back in when you've got to your final destination. It wasn't a big disruption to things. Uh, the system we have now is four grow beds, two tanks full of fish, and we have a sump which did have crayfish until we got all of that rain and then they've escaped <laughs> um, so we do need to get crayfish back in there uh, we've actually changed from jade perch to barramundi we just find that they're a better eating fish um, yeah and I'll go show you what we've got now give you a bit of a tour of sort of how it works I can't really dig too much into it because I'm not I'm, I'm just the gardener okay here she is so this system has the four grow beds it needs expanding to another two beds just to support the two um, fish tanks that we've got um, but basically uh, it is really good for leafy greens for um, yeah so lettuce we've got fennel in here we've got kale um, really good for broccoli and cabbages and things like that um, celery does amazing but it does clog the siphons so what we have in here is clay beads so this is the grow medium and um, this is what the plants are all in um, and that's what they're growing in so what happens is I might just jump over onto the other side yeah so this is this is a better side to show you but what happens is we have two fish tanks here we've only got um, barramundi in here I'm not sure if I'll be able to see them Let's see if can you see him just there <laughs> so we've got I think there's about 25 in now um, they're due we're going to sort of um, divvy them up and have half and half so probably about 12 in each ish depending on if they're still alive they kind of they do eat each other if there's sort of smaller size ones so we're not actually sure how many are in there because we haven't checked them we don't like to disturb them too much because they get a bit funny um, so we'll split those up so basically We've got these two tanks, there's water pumping in over there, it goes down and then drains into this sump which is where we have our crayfish, we did have a lot of little tiny fish um, just to sort of clean up the little bits and pieces. Then we have a pump in there which pumps because this, this sump goes up and down quite um, dramatically depending on how much water is in the grow beds themselves. So. There's a pump in there and then that pumps the water to the grow beds and also to the fish, back to the fish tanks as well. So what we have then is, so the water obviously drains into here. We have what's called a, a flood and drain siphon. So this is a siphon. It, um, it basically, I don't know if this one's, I can show you. I don't know how it works exactly, um, <laughs> but basically once the, the water gets to a certain level, it pushes the water down and into the sump below. So that's, it's just a simple flood and drain system. So things that grow in here, obviously all of the leafy greens love it. The celery loves it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just kind of, for me, it's hands off. Um, for Nathan, not so much. Um, you really need to check your fish, um, make sure they're happy, make sure the water is filtering um, these these um, siphons, like the plant roots can block them so they end up overflowing. There's like lots of little things. It's not completely hands off. It is for me because I'm just 
planting plants and they just grow. <laughs> but yeah, you've got to keep your fish happy, make sure it's filtering right. We find that there's always a lot of issues after a lot of rain. Um, and we also need to work on our filtering. So we do just have a little bio filter here at the moment, but we do need a, a lot bigger. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much the aquaponics system in a nutshell. Um, but yeah, I need to get in here and pull out some of these celery. I've been giving them away left, right and center. Um, but yeah, in summer as well, we usually put a shade. That's what this structure is. We have a shade over, which is there. This one's too dark for, for um, growing vegetables very well. Um, so we'll get a lighter shade this year, but we'll put that over because the beads do end up heating up quite a fair bit, but you don't have to water. So I literally throw plants in here and walk away. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's a really, really good sort of system to have. And we get to eat the fish. So in terms of the nutrients that come in here, it's all from the fish. So basically there's a process that happens um, with the bacteria and the microbes and releases the stuff that the, the, um, the plants need. Again, I don't know the technical <laughs> details of it, um, but basically we don't add anything to this in terms of, it's not a hydroponic system, it's an aquaponic system. It is running purely off fish poo. The only things that we do add, and it's only if there's issues, so um, if there's, um, the plants are starting to look a little bit um, nutrient deficient, um, particularly an iron deficiency, we'll add a little bit of iron. Um, I do know that they were talking about putting that in the food, somehow integrating the iron aspect into the food. So we literally just feed them, feed the fish, the fish do the work, um, and then we just add a little bit of iron if we need to. I would love for this to be organically certified, but it's not. Anything that was water-based, they just like, no. Nah. So, and that's a big reason why we aren't um, or seeking the organic certification with our seeds is because water gardening like this, even though anything that we put in chemical wise is gonna kill the fish, um, it's just water, so therefore it can't be certified. So this is an interesting little thing, but yeah, basically it all runs by itself. Like I said, I don't have to prep beds. I don't have to dig. I don't have to do anything. I just plant and Nathan keeps the fish alive. So that's, that's pretty much our system. So like I said, I'm no expert. I don't know the ins and outs. I just plant things and it grows. <laughs> I hope for the best. Um, but there is a YouTuber who is also Southeast Queensland based who has some fantastic videos on aquaponic system and I'll link him below. It's uh, bits out the back. I think he's based out at Ipswich. Um, so yeah, he's got loads and loads of videos, loads of resources. If you want to get into it, I would definitely suggest follow, giving him a follow. Um, yeah, and he's got some, some big systems and lots of instructional videos. So go check him out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this. Um, if you would like to see more of the aquaponics in future, give us a like and subscribe and let us know in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.